my, my, my sister's husband like that, why you've not treated me wrongly? What, 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 what kind of lie is this now? Okay. It's alright, I believe you. <sighs> why, 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 why would someone accuse me of this kind of thing now? What kind of allegation is that? I would not even wish this for my enemies. What have I done to deserve this kind of uh, uh, accusations, please? It's alright. But I, I just don't understand why my life is like this. Maybe I should just go back to the village and start, start packing palm candle and selling pure water. My friend, will you shut up your mouth? Who is talking about you going back to the village? When your elder sister is here? I can't let you suffer. It's all right, I believe you. You know, I'm, I just said, let me ask you for asking sake. Because he, he has been telling me, you diverted, you diverted. And I said, no, Frank can't do that. I can't, I can't do a thing like that. It's all right. It's all right. So where are you going? I'm, I'm going back inside the house. I'm not doing anything now. Just, just on my own. You will hear from me. Okay. No problem. Thank you, sister. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you are the respective bosses of your various divisions. Recall that we met here some time ago. Recall that I did report that a heinous haste crime was committed against this company. Recall that I said that one of us, one of you, committed that crime. Well, the fat is on fire. The person or persons concerned, I am dealing with them, just like I am, as I'm dealing with the situation. Henceforth, Frank sees this to be an employer of this company. You will no longer see him in this company. If you ever see Frank or Frank's shadow in this company, hold him. Report him to the nearest police station. If you can't do anything, you can't run to me to tell me. I urge all of you, this is the company from where we all derive our daily livings. Let us work for this company. Let us not kill this company. That will be all for now. Thank, Thank you very much. much. All right, you may go back to your respective divisions. I have asked my brother a few questions and um, he confided in me that he didn't do that which you accuse him of. Your Majesty, accusing my brother of stealing is an insult to my person. Therefore, I demand an apology from you. You aren't saying anything. <laughs> I 
Your Majesty, if you don't apologize to me from now till morning, my attitude will change towards you and you would not like it. You're walking out on me. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> you will realize you've made a very big mistake. Thank you. Where's everyone? The king went to his office and the queen and the prince is inside. Oh, oh, that's fine. Sorry. How are you, my darling? How is work? Thank you. Welcome. The chef told me that you refused taking your lunch. Is that true? Yes, ma'am. And why is that? See, ma'am, I, like, I don't feel like it's food by force. I have come. My daddy, food is not by force. Just that I don't want you to develop ulcer. So, mom, mom, I need to minimize the way I eat. Huh? Yes, because too much food is no good for everybody. And besides, it makes me grow fat and I don't like it. You're not fat already. Well, Look at you, uh, girl. Come here! Mom, no! Look at this one. How are you? Look at Mommy. Come here. Trouble, 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 trouble. Oh, my God. Come here, give me a tight spoke. Mm. Why would you even come back without telling anybody? Mommy, like, seriously, do I need to make a grand announcement before coming to see my beautiful mother? <laughs> Barista, Mama, you should have called us first. You're in Lagos. Lagos is quite far. Mommy, not to worry. Just an hour flight, you know, less than an hour. Ah, you're welcome, sweetheart. Thank you. Please, can you kindly take my bags to my room? Okay, my Thank you very much. Yeah, we're going once again. Oh, look at you. So, how are you? And how is cool? Um, Tell me it's fine because you have a pot belly. That means I'm feeding and you, you good. How is your own school and how is Lagos? Lagos is fine. I know. I missed you and miss daddy. Especially this coconut head. <laughs> <laughs> this boy. Mom, but the school is stressful. Goodness. Ah, uh, that's to tell you. Nothing good comes, comes easy. easy. Like you've always said. Mm -hmm. I remember that. <laughs> Come here. So, baby brother. So how have you been? Because Hello, Frank. Good. Yeah, how are you? I missed you. What? I beg your pardon. My husband. What? Daddy? All right, Frank, just uh, calm down. Okay? Calm down, calm down. Mom. I'll call you back. What happened to Dad? Mom? <laughs> Mom, what, what happened to Dad? Mom, what happened? Your father just sacked my brother, Frank, from his company. Why? I mean, I'm just asking the same question. Why? 
Why is it that your father doesn't want to see me happy? Why does he like to make me unhappy? No, Why? Uh, Mom, I think you have to calm down at this point. I mean, because that is not here yet. Why don't you wait until you hear from him? He must have a valid reason for doing this, don't you think? Just relax. That is very smart. He knows what he's doing. I oh, can really? Bet. He's smart. And I'm dull. Uh, no! Your mother is dull. Mom, your father is smart. No, 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 no. Now tell me, what could be his reason? Mom, that's not what I mean. That's the question. What could be? Okay, can you just calm down? Because you've been paranoid. Just calm down, okay? You're not very close to daddy. And I'm sure he will tell me the reason. So just relax and wait. He'll be back soon. And I'll ask him, okay? Hmm? It's no. okay. It's no, 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 no. I won't say any other thing. No problem. Okay, so mom, why is your face still like this? Okay, I can see you're not happy to have me back home. So I can as well take the next flight and go back to school. And please, um, please tell them to bring my box back. Let me go back to school. My friend, what? go back to the room and rest. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. Head of admin. Your Majesty. This meeting concerns you primarily. You're welcome to this briefing. Thank you, Majesty. Thank you, Majesty. Thank you sir. Um, I've actually called this meeting to uh, make some important pronouncements, some promotions. Mr. Johnson Okeke Majesty. has been promoted the general manager of this company. Wow! This appointment takes immediate effect. Wow. <laughs> Mr. Johnson, Your Majesty. as soon as this meeting comes to a close, you move into the general manager's office. First and foremost, Your Majesty, I want to sincerely say a big thank you and then appreciate you for this sudden uh, promotion that you have just accorded unto me. I'm clouded right now with so much excitement and joy that I sincerely don't have an adequate word to express my my excitement. But I just want to say a big thank you to you, Your Majesty, and then to my colleagues here for Come being there for me, Mr. for being so supportive and very, very encouraging. A big thank you to all. And Congratulations. My amiable secretary, you're doing a great job. Keep it up. Thank you once again, Your Majesty. May God bless you, sir. Yes, yes. That office has been purged of all the evils that have been hibernating at the various crevices of the office. And henceforth, there shall not be another evil emanating from that office. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Daddy, mommy has not been happy. She's been really moody ever since you, you sacked her brother. as a last resort. I have done, in fact I did everything humanly possible to, to forestall his sacking my company, pillaging my company. 
and decorating my business. I had to do what I did. Otherwise, today that business would have crumbled. He would have stolen that business, stolen it blind. The business from where I, I keep my family afloat. Dad, Dad, I understand. Trust me, I do. But all I'm asking is for you to go over to mom's room and, you know, find a way of explaining things to her the way she will understand. She's been crying in her room. I am happy you... You understand the situation at hand. And you are very understanding. I cannot say the same for your mother. Amen, Nucha. Amen, Anacha. Hey. I have talked with your mother. I have reasoned with your mother. I have begged your mother. I have even cajoled her. All to no effect. Should I let slip the business I have? Should I not do everything in my power to leave something substantial for you, for your brother, and for your mother also, and indeed for the entire family? when I get too old to work, or even when I am no more? Dad. Daddy. Like I said, I understand everything. But I believe you can make mommy understand too. Hmm? That is just this whiny, tiny little favor I'm asking. Just go have a talk with her in the room. Please. Please, Daddy. Mm, it's okay, my dear. Please leave me. Stop it, Your Majesty. You are indeed a wicked man. I'm sorry, but I must tell you to your face. You are wicked. You don't even care or tolerate your people. What kind of a king are you? Are you not a wicked man? And you're here touching me. Don't touch me again. You're my wife. If I don't touch my wife, I'll be a gilia. Who will I touch? Huh? Who is your Biagiliako? Listen, Your Majesty, I don't want to push you. You know your age. I just don't want to push you at all. So let me be. Obiageliako, Obiageliako. Which one have I eaten? I'm asking you. Ken Kemlibi.
this is serious. Ah. Adama. Oh, na do la da do kwa no wie o. Wicked man, you should be ashamed of yourself. When you are that Joe, nonsense. Honey, my baby, what's going on? You have been more since. I lost my job, and I'm thinking of how to. Start afresh. I'm thinking of relocating to Abuja. How? Why? I don't know. I got fired. Jesus Christ. It's all right. Um, a friend of mine. Promise to give me connections in Abuja. I just need to get out of this town, and go to Abuja and start afresh. You know. You're gonna leave me. What are you going to do in Abuja? To also now. Man needs to also. No. I want to. I need to meet new people and. Um, do things for myself, okay? Um, it's, uh, I need to go and see him now. He said I should be there by five, and I'm sure it's almost five. I mm. miss you so much. Abuja is far from me. Relax. We'll still be together, okay? Uh, we'll be communicating. I need to go and see him now. You know, these rich people, this is how they behave. They don't like... Um, Come late, so yeah. let me go and see him, okay? I wish you success, okay? Thank you, baby. Make more money, okay? I will. Love you. I love you too. Kiss me. Babe, I don't have time for kiss now. Let me go and see you. Can you take me, please? I'm not in the mood, you not understand. I don't hear everything where you talk. But you see that your in-law, a very wicked man, and we go lie to him. I mean to tell you, just travel go Abuja, forget the rest. Me and my boys go handle the rest. The only thing there be say, you go find out something. You know, me and my boys just take down guard, make they just stay they good. If not blow, make them blow. If not things and things, make they just done. As for the job. Me, I go handle it. I'm not shaking. I mean, they tell you now. My problem is, is that I don't want anything to link this thing to me. I don't want my sister to see me as a bad person. I, 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 if this thing casts like this, uh, how will I face the world? Bro, bro, Frankie. Let me look down on Togo T now. If you don't believe me, you go find me calm. No. Why do they do like that now? It's not your in-law. Me, personally, I go blow him short. You're not supposed to look me less less. When I tell you something, just do them. Forget the rest. She now when I know package the job, you go begin para. I don't tell you, say, just spill out. My said to my boys. Every other thing I sell men say, just go abuja where you want to go. So that on high day abuja, as a matter they stop for ya, nobody go the thing say that you run them. They get what they tell you. Me, if I the wrong matters, I they try me everything they clear. So that tomorrow you know you come meet me, they tell me, say, see, I see, busy, I see, busy. If you don't believe me, why you find me come now? Why they do like that now? See, man, I tell you something now. Forget the rest. I deliver past Conga. They what they tell you. Except you know, get funds to pill out. I first say, get funds to pill out. You see that your in law? Ah, I write you don't set now. Why they do like that now? If they play with Togoti, then they whine me now. No problem. How oh, for you? Just be loud, forget the rest. I go handle her.
How far to Gulis? What's going on now? I've not heard anything about the mission. Okay, all right, all right. Well, what do you suggest I do now? What are you saying I should do? Um, I think you have a point there. Give me till next week. I'm going to Abuja next week. When I get there, I'll call you. Yeah? All right now. I'm like, thank you. I just want to run along so I don't um, miss my flight. No, you're not supposed to miss mm -hmm. your flight for any reason. Yes, so... <clears throat> Mommy, mm -hmm. why is your face still like this? Hmm? Well, we talked about it already. Look, Daddy promised to do something. And I take him for his words. Dad? Hmm? You... Oh, yes. Mm-hmm. Good. Well, <laughs> Mom, you see, I told you. Yes, All right? <laughs> you have to hurry up. Hurry up! Hurry up! So much. Driver is ready. Um, I'm sure you don't want to miss your flight. Cry. You should take care of yourselves, okay? Come on, go on. <laughs> go on. You want to miss your flight or what? Sorry. Come on, don't buy me. <laughs> Shall we? Hello, Frank. How are you? Yeah, I'm doing okay. What? You? Relocating to where Abuja? Why? What for? Frank, listen, listen. Nah, nah, listen to me. Listen. Don't go anywhere. I say don't go... Oh yeah, listen to me. I will come and see you, okay? Make sure you don't go anywhere till I come. Please. It's all right. I know it's because of your brother. Abiagali, let me tell you. Your brother is not worth all this trouble you're trying to make. He's not. Now I know that you don't even you don't love my family at all. You just wanted a wife and you got me. No love at all in your heart for my family. Hmm. 
Please, let's eat. There are issues that are not supposed to be discussed on the dining table. Hmm? For your brother? After all, I can't get him a job elsewhere. You get my brother a job elsewhere? Yes. When we have a company where my brother can work? God have mercy. You know what, Your Majesty? Enjoy the meal. I'll take my outfit off. Is everything all right? Um, I'll be right back. Again invited me. Again? I mean, you couldn't even tell me. It was impromptu. I mean, this FK of yours will not just let you sit down in one place and concentrate. You don't even think about school, exams, and I mean, you don't put all that into consideration. You just jet off at the next available call from him. Huh? Mm, it was impromptu. I had to go. A phone call, I mean, at least to me. I was worried sick about you. Babe, I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Do you know, the painful part is that he didn't even give me a dime. But you know, I, I really hate to say that I told you. I've always told you that. When you have needs, you can always ask. You can always ask me. I'm here. All right? I'm your friend. I should be able to come in in times like this. Instead of jumping out of school at the slightest call from your so-called FK, leaving exams and everything behind. For how long? You have done enough. You are doing everything for me. But I'm not complaining, am I? I'm not. So... How much are you looking for? I have to pay my school fees, my house rent, and also buy my handout. I just, I wish my parents were alive. I mean, it's okay. The burden is too much. No, it's fine. I'm not complaining. All right, if I say I'm your friend, that's what friend. I mean, what are friends for? If I can't help you in times like this. So, all of this together is going to cost you how much? 
about 250,000. This is too much. I still have your account number, so. You have friends. Enough. Don't say anything. How am I going to pay you back? This is not for you to pay back. Come on. What are friends for? Now, you go into the kitchen and fix your stomach. Of course I will. Your bags. Yes, the kitchen. Your I'm bags. Coming. Your I'm bags. Goodness. My beautiful queen. The queen after my heart. Baby Njemono. You are my tomato. Mimin chokum. Asa bebim. The queen of Ezinabo kingdom. So how are you today? <laughs> What's your problem? Why do you always spoil for a fight? <clears throat> huh? All the time, fight, 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 fight. Why? See, you saw me come in, but pretended you didn't see me. Not even to inquire concerning where I went to for the traditional council meeting. Ah, I will not fight. No, I will not. You will not fight? <laughs> Your Majesty, I am ready to fight. Believe me, I will go out of my way to fight you very well. As long as my family doesn't mean anything to you, I will fight you. Oh, that. Your family. Your family. <laughs> The family from where I married you. The family for which I built a big mansion, a big house. The family from where I picked their first son, brought him to me and elevated him to the position of the general manager of my company with all their pertinences of power. No, I will not fight. I will <laughs> not. Why are you scared of fighting now? I'm talking about the fair one, the family, that you sucked your first son. I made him unemployed. That's the exact family I'm talking about. We'll fight, oh. Of course, we will. <laughs> no. I will not fight. <laughs> I will not fight. I won't. Are you done? I can see you have nothing else to say other than you will not fight. And I will keep repeating it to you that I am willing to fight and I will fight with everything in me. I will go out of my way to fight you. Come on now, you should be ashamed of yourself. His Royal Majesty, 
yet. Poor people are still hungry. People that are close to you are hungry. Isn't that a shame? Relax. I think I know what to do. If they will come when I will come, I will come to that place where you people are holding your traditional realist meeting and I will come tell them who you really are. Relax, or better still, I will write a petition against you. Let them know who you truly are. <laughs> I will not fight you. All right then. I will not fight you. <laughs> So much for the breakfast. Okay. I ate in a hurry, but I loved it. Okay. Yes, and please don't um, the yam and egg sauce. Yeah. Not too much pepper. Yes, All right. Ma Did you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Not too much pepper. Yes. All right, baby. Bye, See you soon. Of this. You both are living like cat and dog in this house. And I'm tired. It's getting to me. But why are you doing this to dad? Why are you hell bent on making this house unbearable for him? What is this? I had a conversation with you the last time, but nothing has changed. Is it because he says your brother he employs is stealing from him? Is he lying? Can't you see? Can't you see through the lines? Do you think he doesn't love your brother? Is that it? If he doesn't love him, will he employ your brother as his general manager? Mommy, why are you doing this? Why? Before I left the house the other time for school, I had a conversation with you. I begged you. I said, Mom, sit with Dad. I own this out like man and wife. But no, I'm back in this house and everything is just the same. This house is a living hell. Why? Why are you doing this to him? Why? After all, your brother has relocated to Abuja. So what is the bone of contention? What is it? Listen, Mom. I am tired. All right? Because I am the one at the receiving end of all of this. I am leaving for school right now. And before you see me in this house again, it's going to be very hard. Dad, no, 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 please, 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 please. Dad, I'm leaving for school. Where's my handbag? No, please, leave the handbag. Sit down, my angel, please. Can you let your boss be? It has not gotten to that. It has. Please don't do it. I'm begging. Anyway, if you want me to stay back, you know what to do. Mom, do the right thing. All right, princess. But I'm sorry. Were you really going? Mom. I mean, this makes me happy. I'm sure you're happy too, ain't you, Dad? Is it because you look like your daddy? 
Mom! Thank you. Come and sit here. Come and sit here. Oh, that's very good. I love you. We're all going out together as a family today. We're so excited, Mom. <laughs> I am too, I am too. You see, uh, we really never had a real problem with your mother. It's simple misunderstanding. Look at that. Smiling. Just leave me, Your Majesty. You don't expect me to have the same understanding with you. You're a man. Ah, ah. Look at that! <laughs> she now understands that she's a woman. Mm. And I'm a man. <laughs> I'm so happy. Genuinely so happy. Oh. Can you do this often, please, Daddy? Please. Eh? Can you eh? do this often? Eh, why not? Please, why not? We've yes. started doing it. Yes. Okay. You. <laughs> trouble, trouble. <laughs> We've started that is, that it. We'll go, like. <laughs> we'll go out again. Okay. As much as time allows. Of course. Yes. Because why not? A family that actually stay together, they bond together. together. That's right. yeah, they bond more. <laughs> yes. What the problem is? Ah, my guy, is there a problem? Let me help you push the car out. No, uh -huh. come, let's be. No, sorry, sorry, sorry. My God, my God, my God, my God, my God, my God, my King, big boy, my King, my King. My king! What happened? My king! My king! My king! My king! Oh my god! Oh my god! My king! 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 Who do we call? Hello, my daughter. The queen of Ezinabo kingdom. Yes. How are you? Uh, yes. Why are you crying? Your husband? No. It's not possible. When? How? No, no, no. My daughter, stop crying. Stop crying. I'm coming. I'm coming. Please, please. Stop crying. Hmm. Hmm. Daddy, you the Ah, driver. Please, can you tell us how it all happened? My elders. 
We were on our way. When we noticed a car parked in front of us, I went down to go know what the problem was. And one of the boys pointed a gun at me. And the other ran to the car and shot the king dead. Eh? Ow! And shot the king. Just like that. Just like that. Oh. Eh. You go clear to us. Clear to us. What are you going to do? You go My Ibena boy is gone. My Ibena boy is gone. Hey. Oh. Let us one walk with me. Oh, girl, I am glad. Hey. You go put the energy, Jah. Nah, nah. You carry on. You carry on. Yadiba, 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 yadiba. They shot him dead. They shot him dead. They laid their hands on our king. Hey. Oh, away, hey, oh. Hey, away, oh. Yeah. Oh, away, oh. They were not afraid. They shot our king to death. The gods of our ancestors watched them and they saw them. Eh? Let me tell you this, they shall know no peace in their lives. He said, Yes. They shall be haunted by their own conscience until they all perish. He said, Yes. No matter what they run in this whole world, if they run to the north, they are in trouble. He said, To the south. He said, <laughs> then to the east, he said, they shall be roasted their life. If they try the west, hmm, they will all perish at once. He said, their generation will not know, will know anything. He said, they cannot have a sustained generation. He said, their own is gone, their hope is gone, their families are gone. Whatever I tell about them is gone. Better, better. Because of our land. Mm. Come and judge it. Mm. My king, mm. Cletus, mm. the king of the Sinabo kingdom, you did not die like a coward. Not that you die in battle. You were taken on our ways by brutish men who murdered you on cold blood. You are not a coward, a brave and pragmatic king you were in your generation. We celebrate you. Whether alive or dead, you are celebrated. Rest in peace. Yeah, While your, your, your executors will rest in pieces. <clears throat> My queen, it is said that um, the very good thing you do for the dead is to bury him. Our late king, your husband, was a very good man. He doesn't joke with us, his cabinet members. He loves us so much. And this is the time to reciprocate the love he has for us. Mm. To this end, we, his cabinet members, have decided that we will not just sit down and sleep as if it doesn't concern us, but we must wake up and go all out to make sure we unravel the mystery behind the sudden death. Traditionally, we are going through traditional means to make sure that we fish out them that are involved in the killing of our king. And we'll catch them. And they will suffer the recompense of their wickedness. That is it, my queen. Oh, no. My queen. Thank you. Thank you so very much. You have spoken well. My elders, I thank you. Thank you, thank you all so much. 
What you people are doing is just the right thing, I must confess. You're doing the right thing, and I cannot stop you people from doing what you feel is right and what I feel is right. But truth be told, I am a Christian. There are some certain things my Christian faith is against. Therefore, I will not engage in anything tradition. Rather have decided to leave everything in the hands of God. Those that murdered my husband, let God judge them. That's all I have to say. Hmm. Our queen, you have spoken well. But let me tell you this. We will do what we want to do, and there's no going back. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. But please, take heart and leave the fight for the gods to fight for we elders of the land. <laughs> but I want you to know that no one, no one will kill our Igwe, his royal majesty, Igwe Kletus, and go scot-free. Never. 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 It's not possible. It's not possible. Christianity or no Christianity, we will go ahead and do what we are going to do. Hmm? I'm sure... You have heard the words of uh, Ishiel Pius. The thing is, the matter is simple. You are not in this picture. We just want to let you know to fulfill all righteousness. I know you are not a traditionalist. I know you are in the church. But, and you also know that I am the traditional prime minister of this kingdom. You know who? Go ahead and follow your church way and let God answer us. But I must not leave the gods out of this. I will worry them. I will go extra length with these, my co-cabinet members, to make sure that whoever was responsible for the death of our king is brought to book. That person will suffer the traditional punishment and whatever it takes. His life will become useless. But I'm not going far with this because what we have at hand is better. It's, 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 it's even greater now. As in the end, use a new animal. Mm -hmm. We need to bury our king before any other thing. Then after the burial, we will go on an ambition. You will see the result. So please, keep attending the church and everything. Uh, the way people worship. While we are also to continue to worship our own way. What we want is this. If I turn again, knock up again, as well, at the end, let us have victory. Eh? Uh, at this juncture, my queen, please take heart and take good care of yourself. Don't think much. Not even at midnight. Eh? <sighs> take care of yourself. Take care of the princess and the prince. If there is any need to contact me, Send your guard. I will come at once. Thank you, Anna. Oh? Thank you. So See you. Thank 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 you. Just in shock. I can't believe this happened. Please take heart, okay? Esther. Esther, my father was murdered. My father was killed in my right in front of me. 
I start the pain, the trauma. I can't, I can't just put it behind me. However hard I try, so hard to put it behind, but I can't. The pain is just too, it's just too much. I have cried, Esther. I have cried. But it's obvious that my father is never going to come back. I have asked God. I have asked God to expose his killers. I have asked God to punish them wherever they are. I'm just, I'm just waiting for God to answer me. God will definitely answer you. Trust me, he will. Because he will never allow the sorrowful tears of his children to be in vain. God will definitely answer us. He will. Hello, Frank. Where are you? Abuja. What are you doing in Abuja? And when did you even travel to Abuja? Frank. Honestly, you, you, you surprised me. I'm telling you. Frank, when I told you that I lost my husband, you couldn't even call to check up on me up until now. Even if my husband offended you, Frank, it shouldn't be enough reason for you not to attend his funeral. That's too bad. Ticket to Dubai. Which Dubai? Now listen to me, Frank. Cancel that ticket. Frank, you heard me. I said, cancel the ticket. Listen to me. Listen. Frank, if you don't cancel that ticket, Believe me, I won't forgive you. Frank, you listen to me. Hmm? I'm your elder sister. If you fail to do what I asked you to do, like I said earlier, I will never forgive you again. I'm telling you, try me and see. Better. I will give you time to think about it, so I'm going to call you back in the next two hours, Frank. Very stubborn boy. How far now? My guy, calm down. Calm down. You did that to go tea. We don't do clean job. As I they talk to you now, the king don't go down. My bro, no shaking. They did that to go tea now. What did they solve? No shaking. Everywhere I go, everywhere I go. When you lap, you go package everything. No shaking. I day with you. Everywhere I go. All right, I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. Frank, can you please listen to me? Please, you need to come help your sister. Now, listen to me now. Whatever problems or issues you had with my husband, you should know that he's dead. I'm not even against you, you know, not attending my husband's funeral. No, I'm not angry. Please, all I'm saying is, Whatever it is that you have in mind against him, in any way he offended you before he died, I just want you to forgive and forget. Frank, all I'm saying is for you to come help. Come and help your sister. Take over my husband's company. Please, you know everything about this company. I mean, you can't be here and I'll go and hire somebody that will come and run down my husband's company. Please, I'm begging. Frank, Frank, 
I know you are stubborn. But then, this is the first time I'm asking you for a favor. Had it been my, my, my little prince is grown, I wouldn't have been begging you. But he's still a small boy. Please. Hello, Frank. Papa, I, I invited you over so that uh, I will tell you what Frank is doing to me. Frank is not behaving well, oh. Of course, Papa. I have been begging Frank to come take over my late husband's company. And Frank doesn't want to show up. I know too well Frank can run my husband's company properly because he knows everything about the company. He knows the in and out, the secret about the company. Yet he doesn't want to show up. Papa, you know that Prince is still a small boy. Yes, I do. Prince cannot take over his late father's company. My daughter, Princess, is still in school. Yes, both of them are young. Please, help me talk to Frank. Please. Okay, my daughter. Where is Frank now? He told me that he's now in Abuja. That's what he said. When did he travel to Abuja and what is he doing there? Do I even know? I don't know. That was just what he told me that he's now in Abuja. That he has started work, uh, that he's working with one company that sends him to abroad often. I, I just don't understand. Frank, my son, I'm working in Abuja. And he's always traveling abroad. My daughter, I know my son very well. He cannot travel to Abuja without telling me. I don't believe this story. Please call him for me now. I didn't believe him too. Papa, take his ring in. Good, good, good. Hello, Frank, my son. Papa, Papa, I can't hear you. What are you saying? Hmm. Papa, I'm on my way to the airport like this, so I'm not going anywhere. Papa, if you know what that man did to me, if you know what that man did to me, you'll not be telling me all these things. You listen to me very carefully now. Now you want me to go back and go man, 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 manage this company. For what? Papa, I'm not going there. Oh. I'm not going anywhere. Papa, I have another job now. As I'm speaking to you, I'm at Nikon Nuga Hotel. Chilling. I'm just waiting for my flight time so that I'll go to Dubai, have a meeting there, and then come back to Nigeria. I don't need that nonsense business now. Papa? Papa, I'll call, I'll call you back, please. I can't hear you. That place is very noisy. No, it's not from my end. It's from your end. Okay, Papa, I've heard what you said there. Eh? I've heard you. Okay. It's all right, Papa, I've heard you. What did he say? He didn't even say anything. He said he's coming back tomorrow. Oh, that's what he told you? Exactly. Oh. Oh. 
some gold. Gentlemen from my husband's company, I welcome you. All right, I called you here to let you know that, um, first of all, I'm sorry I would have come to the office, but then I'm still in my morning clothes. That's the reason I invited you to, and I'm glad you came. It's all right. Having said that, uh, purpose for this little meeting is just to let you know that um, my younger brother, Frank, will be returning to the company as the new managing director of my late husband's company. So when you go back, I would like you to help pass this message to other staff for them to cooperate with my brother. Maximum cooperation, that's what I need here. Please. One more thing. Anything that has to do with money, any transaction whatsoever that has to do with money must pass through his office before the transaction will be carried out. Have I made myself clear? Thank you so very much. I'm glad you accepted because you have no choice. Thank you. So that'll be all for now. That's the reason I called you all. See you guys at work tomorrow. Good. Good. Mm. <laughs> Very short meeting. Yeah. Frank, thank you so much for accepting to help your sister. I mean, it's not easy. I mean, I've been begging you, my brother, because I know you're capable <laughs> of carrying my husband's company from building it from, you know, not into something. It's not in it, sister. It's not in it. All right. You're welcome. So when are you going back to school? Monday. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, you know, I cannot just wait to finish with my education so I can come join you in the running of Daddy's company. It will be so much fun. No, no. <laughs> Leave the running of the company for the man. <laughs> Once you're done with school, you practice what you studied. Which is law. No, but uncle, okay. I don't think running a company is a gender thing, you know. I mean, I can offer my service. I'll be more than willing to do that. I mean, my father went through a lot sending me through school and the least I can do is to give back. It's more like giving back, you know, to the company. <laughs> I'll be glad, mommy. <laughs> mommy, what do you think? I think she's right. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. You're, you're, you're I think actually... the company needs a lawyer, a good yeah. lawyer, dad, and I know I'm going to be the best. Of course, myself, so. of course, of course, of course, of <laughs> course. Uh, you can always come come around the company to see how the company is going. Mm? Of course. And if there's a problem, we'll hire you as the company's lawyer. You don't even have to pay me because I am going to give my all. We have to pay you. Everybody needs money. Ah, pay enough of so the well. argument. <laughs> enough, enough, enough. You and your baby sister. Yeah, 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 it's yeah, all yeah. right. It's, it's all right. <laughs> Um. <laughs> She's highly intelligent. What type of a brother in love is this? He's not far from a prodigal son. He's wicked, so extravagant. Living life is all he wants. your target, you don't care how it comes, you're too greedy and wicked, it's too greedy and wicked, money is what he thinks of, he's ready to kill for it, he's too greedy and wicked, he love money too much, money is your target, you don't care how it comes, you're too greedy and wicked, it's so much in love with money, money is what he thinks of, he's ready to kill He's too greed and wicked. He's too greed and wicked. Money is not wicked. You don't care how it goes. You're too greed and wicked. Money is what it takes. Fonda came to say it's okay.
Yes, Mr. Man, what is it? I came to find out if you are the one that wrote this termination letter to me. Whose signature do you have there? Your signature, of course, Frank. So what do you have a problem with? The signature or the content of the letter? Fired? On what basis am I being fired, Frank? What have I done to deserve this? Mr. Man, we cannot have two captains in one ship. Especially when a smaller captain is a threat to the bigger captain. You're lucky I'm in a very good mood today. I would have framed you up and sent you to jail for a very long time. And by the time you come out, you will realize how not to mess with people. For real? Yeah, for real. Now I get it right. Frank, are you trying to use me to start your part also? But let me make it clear to you that this thing you have just did, you will live to regret it. It's a promise. I've done a lot of wrongs in my life. But I do not regret any. I want you to always know and have it to the back of your head that I, Frank, sacked you with no penny in your pocket. <laughs> I know there's nothing I can do about this. Uh -huh. But this is the peak and the height of wickedness with the devil himself to us. Mr. Man, get out. You can't do nothing. I'll leave. Uh. But like I said, you wouldn't live to regret it. Oh. Sister, what I'm saying in essence is you are your husband's next of kin before he died. And right now, I need you to make me a signatory so I can have easy access to money to run some things in the company, especially contracts. Yes. We have a lot of contracts to run, lots and lots of contracts, and we need money to do that. In your condition, you cannot just leave the house and follow me every time to the bank to, to, to sign money. No, it's not nice. So I need you to make me a signatory to the account. Okay, Frank, like, um, how many contracts are we talking about here? While I was in company before your husband sacked me, we had like 18 contracts. Yes, and now I'm back. We have another seven on top of the 18. And there are lots of contracts to execute now. And these contracts are government contracts, and we need money to run them. We cannot execute them without money. And of course, you know that's how the company makes money, from these contracts. So we need every contract at hand right now. Are you serious, Frank? Yes. I am. All right. Very serious. It's okay. In that case, eh? You have to come out tomorrow. Let me take you to the bank for you to meet our company's uh, account officer. All right. Okay? All right. So you will sign your signature. It's all right. That's, that's good. That's very good. So that we can put things in place immediately. Hmm. Sister, the kind of money I'll make for that company, you'll be shocked. You don't need to say. I'm telling you. I trust you 100%, my own brother. Ah. Kai, I can't wait. I can't wait. <laughs> you know that company is like my company. Eh? I'll do everything to make it stand out. Trust me. I trust you. Meanwhile, have you heard from the princess? Yes. Uh, I spoke with her uh, two days ago. Oh, okay. What about the prince? He's sleeping. <laughs> sleep, sleep. A <laughs> big man. <laughs> I'm telling you. It's all right, sister. I'll have to be on my way now. Mm. It's okay. Yeah. Thank you so much. It's all right. You I am grateful. Uh -huh. I am grateful, Frank. It's all right. Thank you. want to be good, too grateful. <laughs> <laughs> all Frank, right. Bye -bye, eh? uh. <laughs> it's a deep year. As a DP, as soon as it's now exactly 24 market days now since our king died. And we came to complain to you. You now told us to go and come back. 
that you will consult with the gods and tell us who killed the king. Exactly. That is the reason we are here. Yes. I have consulted the gods and the gods have spoken. Good. Ha! Hmm. Ah, eyes on the gods. <laughs> so, the, the gods have spoken. Now, who did they say killed the king? <laughs> who did the gods say it that killed the king? Go and ask king's brother-in-law. He knows what happened to the king. What? Huh? Is it TV? Are you sure you know what you just said now? <laughs> you do not ask the gods question. Makana mo adasiase. Nene. Nene. <laughs> we believe you very well. Hi. But what if we ask him and he denies it? What do we do? Leave him and come back. I will tell you people what to do. The fight is for the gods. Thank you. Hey. Let us. Hmm? Go Let us and go. do what I ask you people to do. Thank you. Naya. I can make it. I have to play a We shall come out and come back later. As na bakala ya mozo manozo ya na apa kuru de ne bu sa lo 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 o lu lo gumba gana ga ju anu o tu mo ku ku nwa da won ku ku nwen gongo so elders why are you people standing please let's go inside um it's okay i'll be the reason we are here, my queen, is not to sit down. I may just as well go straight to the point. I hope all is well. All is well. We are here to pass a message for Museum. My Can queen, we? tell your brother Frank that the elders of this land want to see him in the palace tomorrow to give him a message from Ezemo of Obibutek. I beg your pardon. What, yes. are, what are you talking about? What message from Ezemo? Let your brother come and hear the message first. Then, if he refuses to oblige, then whatever he sees, he takes. Hold on, please. Now, what is my brother's business with Ezemo? That's what I'm talking about. What kind of message is that? If he calls, we'll give him the message. Thank you. Well, let's go. What is all this? Why rejecting the drink I brought for you people? Why? Ah, Queen. We are not here to drink. Instead, we are here on a very important mission, which we must achieve. <clears throat> Our Queen, I'm sure you are. Uh, you can still remember the message sent by Ezemo to you through us. Two days ago. And we sent a message to your brother, Frank, through you. Where is he now? Because uh, he can't keep us all day here. Yeah, um, I know, I believe um, he will soon be here. Hmm? Yes, I passed your message across to him, so hopefully he'll be here soon. Okay. Sister? Frank. What's up? Mm. Good. What's going on? He's here. Oh, good. Good enough. Uh, Frank. 
Yeah. We sent for you through your sister, our queen. Okay. Frank. Oh, no. You are aware that our Ugo is late. Mm hmm. I am. Good. And you are also aware that he was killed by a non government. Yes, he was attacked. He was attacked by a non government. Good. God punished him. On hearing such news, hmm. we, the elders of this land, swore never to go in arrest until we unravel the mystery mm -hmm. behind his death. Yes. Until we know those, until we fish out those who were instrumental to untimely death of our king. That's, that's Such true. brutal death. Mm. And you are fully aware that the incident happened after you had a kind of face-off with him. Had problem with him? Yes? Mm -hmm. Over I, his I, company? And he was sacked. Mm -hmm. I don't understand, no. Just do try to understand. Very important. Where are you going to with this statement of yours? No, I don't get it. What, 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 what's the meaning of what you just said? Now, we proceeded to uh, go shrine. Go, go shrine. Yes. And after consultations, the chief priest told us to tell you to go and ask you what happened to the king because you are fully aware of everything that led to his death. I beg your pardon. What? Yes. yes. That's what I, I said. I said, you know, the chief said, you know everything that led to the death of our Igwe. That was actually why we sent for him. Mm. Enough! Which means he killed him. What? Yes. Now what is all this? What's the meaning of this? You killed him. Honestly, my queen, I think you're not getting this straight. Allow me get it now. Yes. You talk to me. Let, hey. me. let me clear you properly. Our oracle is pointing accusing fingers to your brother Frank for everything that happened to the king. Hey! Mm -hmm. Do you now understand? He killed the king. What? He killed your own. Sister, hold on. Hold on, hold on. You said this to my face. Sister, relax. You Come said on. that my brother, Frank here, killed my own husband. Oh my goodness, your oracle is indeed a liar. What? Of course you heard me. If not for the respect I have for you people, I would have called my guards to bundle you red cap men out of this palace. What? Are you insane? What? Sister, hold on, let me, let me talk to this old fools. Eh? All right? Listen, and listen good. I want you all to go back to that your wretched oracle. Tell that oracle to retire. Because other oracles, other places have retired and are destroyed. They're all retired. Do you get it? Go back and tell your lying oracle to retire. Your oracle is fake. Hey. Your own foolish men. What? Useless men. Frank. Do you realize what he just says an abomination? Shut up! Shut up right now! You are the abomination, all of you! You're all abominations! What am I even saying? Sister, you're here. I'm going to freaking call the police to come and arrest this man for accusing me wrongly and dirty my image. I'm not going to take this. I'm not going to take this! Enough! It hasn't gotten to that. Let them be. Okay. They are old enough. Oh, but listen to me. Listen to what? How dare you think you have the, the, the audacity to insult the elders and the oracle? Imagine. Oh, Google Shrine! Now listen to me. You are in fact demanded to come to Google Shrine and swear. And that is, as, that is as soon as possible. But then, let me say this. Elders, Bios, this battle is for the gods. gods. Ah, this battle is for the gods. We are not supposed to fight for the gods. We will fight for yourself. Get ready to go there and swear. Oh no! Enough! It's high time you left the palace. Wait, well, I say I will live in good faith. Out! I will live. I said out! Place. Yes, I will live and we shall come back. You are home. walking the elders of the land out of your house? Don't go, 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 go. Get out! Get out. Get out. Get out. How dare you? Did you just say get out? Oh God, get out! Hey! Do not send for me. Do not dare send for me. If you point your hand towards the queen again, <laughs> listen to me. I want to strike the gun. Oh God. My husband, 
are you insane? Abdul, now will you get the hell out of this place? What kind of nonsense is this? No, but what, 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 what nonsense is this, sister? What, what, what? Maybe they're angry at me because I'm the one who's managing the company when I'm not even from this kingdom. They're expecting one of their sons to be the manager, not me. Why haven't I thought of this? My goodness, you know, when my husband was alive, I'm sure he's used to giving them peanuts all the time. Maybe that's what they're expecting you to do. Rubbish. Maybe that's what they want from me, but... It's all right. Let, let, let the, the kids take care of them. It's all right. No, it's okay. Sister, I have to go. I have a lot to do at the office. I, I, I just came. I, I, I didn't know it was because of this, this old fools. Eh? I imagine my busy brother trying to build my husband's company up and they are here accusing thunder. My dear, it's okay. Sister, don't worry. I'll it's see all right. You. Just take good care of yourself. Okay, sister. All right, I'll call you back. Um, Princess. To what do I owe this visit? Okay, so I actually came to let you know that I'll be going back to school, let's say next tomorrow. All right, that's good. So I'll be needing some money. <sighs> some money? Mm -hmm. And how much are we talking about here? Let's say like 500,000 on onward for me to manage. 500 what? 1,000 naira. For what exactly? What do you mean for what exactly? I just mentioned now that I'm going back to school. So I definitely need the money for my daily runnings, logistics, like feeding, transport. I mean like literally logistics. You want to go back to school with 500,000 naira? Are you planning on feeding the entire School or what? What do you mean? Times are hard. Very hard. We're all trying to manage. But it's all right. Let me um, see what I can do. So you can go back to school and study. All right. Yeah. Make do with that one. What is this? Money, of course. A hundred thousand naira. Yeah. And what am I supposed to do with this? Go back to school. This cannot take me back to school, clearly. Because this cannot even buy me my flight ticket back. I mean, so what am I going to be doing with a hundred thousand naira? I who told you you're going back to school with it? For the flight. I beg your pardon? Yes. When I was your age, I don't take flights. I take buses. Use this money. Go out there, buy a bus ticket. All right? I'm sure it will take you back to school. I am lost. Mm. All right? I am not here to beg you for money. <laughs> I'm not begging you. I'm asking you to give me some money from my father's company. Have you forgotten where you are? This is my father's company, all right? Besides, my father doesn't even give me anything less than a million naira for weekends. So I'm only asking you for 500,000 naira because I'm sensitive to the fact that things are hard. Or might be like you are saying. So, if you're giving me 100k like I'm some charity case you're trying to help. I don't get it. I don't. I don't want to disrespect you, but this cannot work. Well, this is your father's coming. You're right, but your father is no more. I run this company now, okay? And right now, the company has committed money into so many federal and state contracts. So you see, we don't have any money left. Learn to manage. Cut your coat according to your size. That's what everybody's doing now. So manage that money. I'm sure it can take you back to school. There's no way I'm touching this money. Thanks for the insult. Alright, I am not a charity case. So I thought I'd just keep my money. Right. Mom, I really don't understand what is going on anymore. I don't understand. Hmm. 
You mean you went to Frank's office and begged him for 500,000 and he couldn't even give it to you? He clearly didn't. He handed me over 100,000 naira, asking me to um, go by night bus when I complained that the money was not sufficient enough for my flight ticket. He even said um, when he was my age, he wasn't flying, he was going by road, that I should go by road. Mommy, can you imagine? You needed to have been there to listen to how he talked to me, as if I came to beg him, as if I'm one charity case. That's my father's company, it's my father's money we're talking about. Ever since daddy died, it's been so impossible to get money from that office. I'm struggling. And yet my father has so much, left so much behind. My brother said you should go by night, boss. My own child. It's all right. No, don't worry about anything. I'll go and look for that money and complete it for you. I didn't take the money, mommy. I left the hundred k on his office desk. You left it there? Mm hmm And he didn't call you back? No, he didn't. The moment I dropped it, he said, oh, thank you. And kept it to himself. It's all right. I'll go and find out why Frank is behaving like this now to my own child. Hello, bank manager. Yes, good day. Uh, all is well, thank you, and work. Please, there is something very important I would like you to do for me now. Yeah, I just... Uh, need some cash because um i would like to dispatch some to my daughter yeah she's doing very well uh, she's about going back to school so please uh, from my husband's uh company's account i want you to withdraw like a million naira transfer to me in my own private account yes one million naira please Hmm? No, I didn't get that. What? My brother? Frank withdrew 4.6 billion. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. When was that, please? Ha! All right, no problem. Thank you for telling me. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, no problem. Just uh, transfer one million naira to my own account. And uh, I would like you to print out the statement of account. My husband's company statement of account. I beg your pardon. No need of printing out the statement. How much is the balance, please? Hold on, did you say 50 billion or? 50,000 Naira? In company's account? Manager, you can't be serious. 50,000 Naira? I'll call him. Is he alright? My husband's company's account. 50,000 naira. And my brother withdrew 4.6 billion. Hey! Be careful. The king is in trouble. Frank, sister, this one you bash into my office looking so angry. What Apple did you do with the large amount of money you removed from the company's account? What? Is that why you're looking so pissed? Come on, sister. 
Sit down, let's talk about that. Frank, that's not an answer to my question. Well, the answer is simple. I use the money for business. And what kind of business is that? Contracts. The only business this company knows how to do best. I told you earlier we have lots of contracts here to keep, both federal and state. Right now we're about to complete the biggest contract ever of all. 160 duplexes? Oh yes, we're almost done with that. After which we'll go into um, the state contract. Hold on Frank, all these things that you just mentioned here now, how much are we looking at? 11 billion naira. Now how do you like the sound of that? Hold on. You mean 11 million? I said 11 billion. 11 billion? Exactly. So you see, I've been very busy. Frank, that's huge. Of course, it has to be huge. I'm involved. Are you serious? Very serious. Mm -hmm. Gracious God, are you for real? Of course, I'm for real. No, that's nice. Oh. I love it. I know. Good. I'm. I'm happier now. I mean, a bit relieved, you know. Of course. But then again, when will you finish the contract? And when will they pay this money? Because I would not like to you, my brother. My children and I are hungry. No, that's, that's not going to happen. Your children cannot be hungry. You cannot be hungry. Well, the thing that is in six weeks, the federal government is going to release the first money. Ordinary six weeks? Yes. So in six weeks, this company is going to get paid. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm happy. Thank you, Frank. Thank You're you. Welcome. So where is um accountant? Please help me tell him to pay in some money into my daughter's account. She seriously needs some money to sort out some things in the school. That's all right. I'll instruct him to do that right away. Okay? Thank you. You're welcome. You see, everything I'm doing is for the betterment of this company. At the end of the day, I will make you proud. I Please, know. I can't wait. <laughs> Honestly, I can't. You have to. I should be on my way now, Frank. It's all right, sister. Take care of yourself. All right, don't forget to tell accountants what I told you. It's very important. I'll do just that. Have a good day, sis. You too. All right, then. Take care. Take care, sister. Your Majesty, I have decided to come and see you and to let you know that there is a problem. Nobody knows what is going on in Ken in the company. Everybody is complaining. Your brother Frank has pushed everybody behind and doing everything in his own likeness. Nobody understands everything. And if you try to approach him or to ask him one or two questions, he will show you and proudly say that he is in charge. I mean, you said nobody understands anything, right? Exactly. Just like I'm not understanding anything you're saying here. You haven't made any point yet. You are my sir. All I'm saying is this. Your brother is now building houses of his own. At every corner of this city. Why the company's fortune is going down day by day. Nobody understands everything. Nobody understands everything. He's now running the company as one man show. We the employers. Nobody knows what he's doing. Nobody. Many staff have resigned. Because he's no, he's no longer paying them. So I decided to come and let you know. 
Admin manager. Your Majesty. I know your type too well. Your type is a type that goes about spreading false rumors about people, about innocent people, to be precise. I know your type. Can you stop? All that my brother is doing in my husband's company, I am aware of it. So stop this gossip. You are too big for this. Um, Don't you think so? Your Majesty, I'm sorry. Since, since you know everything your brother is doing, what of the unpaid salaries? Are you insane? Get out. Leave this place! It's okay. It will never happen again. It's okay. Your Majesty, it will not happen again. It's okay. You're here. You sent for me. Of course. Yeah. Enough! Enough! Please go to the backyard and sweep that place first. Frank. Yes. I'm not really happy. What happened? Somebody just left here now. The person brought a report against you. The person came to tell me that you have not been doing anything in the company. That in fact, you almost shut all the staff up and kept them in one corner. In fact, almost locked them up in one corner. In other words, what he's trying to say is you do everything on your own. You're leaving them in the dark. How? Then I'm not asking why, if that's what you did, and he didn't stop there. He said that all you do now is to buy houses. What? That you have refused to pay the staff their salaries. You buy cars. And I'm like, whose car is this? Well, that's my friend's car. My car developed a fault, so I had to pack it at the mechanic and borrow his to run errands today. For real? Who's this person that has been telling you this kind of thing? I, I don't understand. The same staff are increased their salaries without informing you first? Why would I go building a house without telling you, my darling sister, first? How? Hold on. The only salary I owe those staffs is that of this month. And the month is not over yet. Of course. So what are you talking about? Hold on, oh, hold on. Let me get it. You even increased their salary. Yes, I did. Without even telling me, when you're trying to be nice to them, yet this person had the nerve to come and gossip my brother to me. He's even insane. Sister, who's this person that told you this rubbish? I need to know who this person is, so I can know who to avoid in that office. Well, let me not lie to you. It's the admin manager, Obiora. Obiora? Of course, Obiora. He just left here. The same fool that came to my office three days ago to beg for a loan to start a building project in his village. And I told him the company didn't have that kind of money to spend at the time. That should hold on so I can think about it and then, then you know, know when to, 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 to give him a loan. Maybe next month. Hope you had the guts to come tell you this. Oh, he wants a loan to start up a house? Huh. You refused? Yes, I so refused. that you can increase the capital, I mean the company's money. So that's the reason he got angry. So that's the reason Obiora came to gossip my brother to me. So if not for the way that we are, this, this person would have caused problem between both of us. But it's not possible now. That's the reason I called you first to ask you. Ah, people are it's so a, mean. It's all right, Frank. It's all right. Ah. This, this, this is crazy. It's all right, just come in. Let me give you something to eat. I prepared a very good food. No, don't worry about that, sister. I'll eat. Maybe I'll come back in the evening to eat. Right now, I have a lot of errands to, 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 you know, to tackle. All right? Wow. Yeah, I need to work. 
So I'll see you maybe in the evening, okay? Be very careful, yes, especially with the car. It's not yours, I but it, it, it really suits you. <laughs> it's, I mean... I will, but it's not my turn to drive this kind of car. I know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. You're trying to build the capital. Yeah. All right, I'll see you later. Bye. All right, all right. you now have enough time to do your gossip. Oh, Mr. Frank, you know that I do not do anything to deserve this. Mm. I put all my best in this company mm. to make sure that this company is booming. Mm. And you have the God to terminate my appointment in this company. Mm. Anyway, I will leave, but I will remind you of today. It's just a promise. For I'm doing this, you must regret it. I'm waiting for that one day. May God bless you. Amen. Bye bye. Sin is dead. God searches hard. 